Hey guys, Matt from SamRolling.com and just wanted to show you how you can sync these two together. This is very useful obviously if you need two recorders uh, to have exactly the same size clips um, on both tracks because maybe you're recording more than 12 like I was the other day. Um, so let's first set it up by making sure that they're both this is all basically through the time code menu. Make sure that they're both on the same frame rate. That's obviously really useful. Um, and then I've got this one on 24 hour run mute. Um, and this, yeah, auto mute basically just means that anytime it's not recording, I won't accidentally kind of send out bursts of time code at random intervals, um, which could trigger this one accidentally. Um, so that's why I chose that. And otherwise, uh, just do a first jam initially just to make sure that they're on exactly the same time code and then you're pretty good on your master unit then on your slave unit as we will call it uh, we want to make sure that we're on um, extc auto record um, and the difference between auto record and auto record continuous is that the time code continually runs in between um, but there isn't actually that much of a difference because what happens is um, so you'll notice it's frozen right now but you'll notice this is at 12. As soon as I press record, it's at 12.05, and now this should automatically jump to being the same. So it just picks it up where it was before. Um, so you might want continuous um, just because then you can kind of go throughout the day. Um, but then if you switch to that mode, I would kind of recommend just jamming it as well before because obviously we're four seconds out already um, it will automatically pick it up again so we're at uh, 1032 now 1032 do 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 got to kind of move fast between them um, and there we have it but you know it's, it's continuing to play which is actually not very useful so we don't want that at all so that's why maybe it's better to do auto record where we can then Start together, stop together, start together, stop together. And then you'll have exactly the same size clips. Makes it really easy for editing and post-production, just for syncing all of those up later. Um, so there you have it. Let me know if you have any comments down below. But otherwise, I will see you later.